Okay, so we're gonna do a French ponytail and a French braid this time, just so you can see the two different parts. I've split my hair into half. Um, pretty much any time I'm doing my hair for competition, my hair's gonna be split in half just so it stays a little bit more secure. The concept of a French ponytail is like a French braid. We're gonna add hair as we go, but it's a little bit easier and quicker than a French braid. So I'm just gonna gather up the front chunk of my hair. I always have trouble and I'm going too far back with my first grab, so we're just gonna yeah, that'll do. And I'm gonna throw an elastic in that bit. Nice and tight to my head, kind of towards the back of the group of hair. I've used a smaller elastic normally for this, um, but this'll do. Whatever. Tie it up till you run out of elastic and it's tight. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some more hair. Make sure you're getting hair at the back of your head too. Try not to grab hair out of the elastic that's holding the hair you want to save for the next part. I'm going to add it, mix things up, grab a lighter elastic this time, and we're going to tie it up again. This method works good if your hair is shoulder length. Not much longer than that because you still end up with bits at the end. Okay, so here we go, we've got two in so far. I'm going to gather up some more hair. Add that in. So, I'm tying it up. And I try to tie it up towards the center of the back of my head. Less chance of it getting in my collars and being annoying them. Tie that tight. And then the last bit we add. That's what that was kind of hard to see. You can see it. So we end up with that. I can't really see if you can see this. That's what we're in for. I think you probably can. So you have it. It holds the hair together as you go.